when people say it's easier to start a business here in Gambia, some of the ways that it's easier to do that is because like everything doesn't have to be perfectly put into place for you to start a business here. Places get their business by word of mouth and I don't wanna say it doesn't matter about what it looks like. Of course it matters, but it matters way less. <laughs> So this is Benta's restaurant. It's one of our pla uh, favorite places to go here in Gambia um, for local food, African food. I just wanted to give a really quick example of how basic your restaurant can be where the outside doesn't even have to be fancy. A lot of times they don't even have the lights turned on inside if it's not necessary in order to reserve energy. Gambia lifestyle is just really, really laid back. Things do not have to be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got my chicken domada. The setup might not be perfect inside, but I will never come to this restaurant and they don't have customers. They always have customers, they're always busy. The food always sells, they actually sell out every single day. Um, yeah. You have a passion for cooking and you're actually good at it. Other people like your food, not just you liking your own food, <laughs> but other people like your food and you've always had the dream of having your own restaurant or food truck or food stand, anything like that, Gambia would be a really good place to start up having your own business um, in the cooking industry. Um, there are a few ice cream parlors where they'll have like ice cream and then they'll sell cupcakes and they'll sit and they'll sell um, like slices of cake or sheet cakes. So, you know, if you could come and open up a place like that and make it different, offer something different, so this one is fairly new in the Gambia. It's very new actually. Ice cream. They're trying to establish more dessert restaurants here in Gambia. Uh, restaurants that offer like cake and ice cream combinations are doing really well. This would be an opportunity to create something different and something new. You can open up a cafe where you offer um, coffee, tea, smoothies, pressed juices, all those things do really well. So if you're interested in starting a recreational center or something like that. Offering a service that provides programs for the youth, uh, youth program coordinator, a uh, sports or recreational center for the youth would do really well. You could start off really small and then add on services as you see where the need is for the community. So for the sisters who have car mechanic husbands, there is a high demand for good mechanics in Gambia. It would definitely be important to investigate the competition in this field. There are definitely mechanic shops here, but you could offer something unique and different from the competition. So this type of business would be a really low startup cost. You could rent out like a garage and that could be less than $100 a month or way less than $100 a month just to rent out a garage or a space to be able to provide um, car, car services. And if you don't wanna go the route of renting out a space, you can do this from your home or your backyard. You would definitely get clients. Um, you probably would end up getting more more customers and you could then one person could even keep up with because the, the demand. Vehicle maintenance, oil changes, brakes, tune-ups, um anything related to car repair or car maintenance you could also sell the parts for these things um this would be like an additional side hustle that you could have to actually sell sell those parts you would need to plan it well though so for example um shipping items from the u.s if you plan to open a mechanic shop in gambia you would send those items you definitely want to send um, your tools you want to bring your own tools good tools are hard to find in Gambia that's really really important um, that also brings me to the next point and the next business opportunity or business idea um, that would be in demand is opening an American tool supply store here in Gambia where where you import those tools and things like that they're in high demand good reliable quality tools in general but um, tools for car repair specifically. Basically anything that is related to cars would be a good business to have, even like a pull apart store or shop. Um, yeah, so anything vehicle uh, or car related, parts related, tools related would do really, really well here in Gambia. So for those that have experience with towing, towing business is high demand 
in Gambia, I would definitely recommend um, shipping your vehicle, your truck with the flatbed or whatever it's called. I don't know the parts of the towing truck, but um, the truck that you would need ship that you want to ship the material everything you would need for that specific business um tool related yeah i would definitely ship it that's a business that would do really well especially if you're able to um offer a service actually if you offer that service it doesn't even matter what your hours would be that business would do really really well a lot of times people are having to leave their vehicles on the side of the road um because they're not able to to get them towed you know from like if you if if your car breaks down or sometimes like in the rainy season uh people's vehicles they get stuck in the mud and different things like that so there's just a lot of opportunity if you specialize in that area um and it's something that you enjoy doing yeah that that type of business would do really really well here in gambia and it is a very high demand so I wanted to make sure to mention it's very, very important for you to investigate how you, you're able to legally operate certain businesses here in Gambia because foreigners are not able to actually drive the commercial vehicle. So you can own the vehicle, you can own the business, and you can operate it, but you're not able to drive the actual vehicle and that could be tricky. So you just wanna make sure you investigate the type of business that you're able to have um, as a foreigner here in Gambia. Make sure you're legally able to operate it the way that you're planning to operate it. You know, you can ride along with your driver, you can hire a team. You just have to figure out how to do that to be able to operate it in a way that is legal. That's just one of the rules that they have here in Gambia when it comes to foreigners. You have to be a Gambian resident to drive. Cell phone repair and computer repair are in high demand. Those, business, those businesses are in high demand here in Gambia. If you're good with technology, if you know how to get rid of viruses in computers, if you know how to repair the actual physical computer, anything computer um, maintenance or repair, technology repair, any business associated with that would do really well here in Gambia. Those there are businesses here that off, that offer those services and they make a lot of money. Transportation services is another business that would do really well here in Gambia. So one thing that I want to mention is foreigners are not able to actually do the transporting the driving you're not able to do the driving um those those jobs are designated to keep the local residents the gambians um with a good employment so they're they're able to drive they're the only ones that are able to drive foreigners you can own the vehicle but you would have to hire a local gambian to do the driving for you um, but these businesses, transportation businesses, are very highly profitable businesses to have here in Gambia. That is actually one of the top businesses that you would be able to start up right away after moving here. Especially if you plan on um, shipping your vehicle, you could ship one or two vehicles and start that business and hire drivers. Uh, yeah, and, and the drivers would do the driving for you. Um, it is more complicated than that. <laughs> you have to make sure that you hire somebody that is going to be trustworthy and all of that. Um, yeah, all of those details. I'm not saying that it's an easy business to operate. It's an easy business to start up. You definitely want to talk to people that are already here that are, um, you can connect with people that have experience with that type of business and they can give you the do's and don'ts about that. But it is a low cost um, startup business and a highly profitable business to have here in Gambia. Another opportunity would be event planning. One of the things that are in demand are like rentals. So if you wanted to ship in a table and chairs and rent them out, those are rented here in Gambia. People rent them for different things, naming ceremonies, um, different programs, weddings, birthdays, whatever type of events um, that are being held. The table and chairs business does really well here in Gambia. You can look at your competition and see what it is that they're offering. And then you offer something different, offer something that's more enticing, you know, for the customers. 
If you're a photographer, photography, that's another business. You could do mobile photography where you don't actually have a studio, but you go out and you take photographs for people at their events. You also can open a physical studio. You know, here in Gambia, you can rent out a space and put your contact information. They actually still use flyers here in Gambia. They use flyers and they are very effective. You know, if you wanted to go and give those flyers to businesses to post, you know, like in the tourist areas of town, you could, you could put flyers there and people, when they come in, they will schedule, you know, um, yeah. So people come in, they come out of town, they come to visit Gambia and they want their, um, their, they want to have different photos for memories and everything. So that's one of the areas that you may be able to work closely with the different tourists that come here. Okay, let's talk about my favorite topic, health and wellness. If you are a health and wellness professional, that any type of business associated with health and wellness is in a very high demand here in Gambia. You can start up a studio where you offer fitness classes. You can offer personal training sessions. You also can do one-on-one -on -one in home training. You can open a small gym. Like the sky is the limit. Anything fitness, health, and wellness related would do very, very well here. Anyone that I've spoken to that has opened a gym, it doesn't matter the size, small, medium, large, uh, their facility is doing really well. Uh, so if you're a coach, you can also do coaching and you can do consulting where you don't have to be working in a studio or in a gym. You can just do, co you can do coaching and consulting one-on-one um, -on -one with people online or you can do it in person. So that's another business opportunity that would do really well. There is a demand for different types of teaching here in Gambia. So if you're a teacher, that is an opportunity that you would have to establish a tutoring service or a learning center or even teaching out of your home here in Gambia because there are a lot of people that move here that choose not to enroll their children into the international schools or the local schools here in Gambia. And um, they're kind of stuck because they they're also not teachers themselves and they're un, and they're not comfortable with homeschooling. So there is an opportunity where you're able to provide uh, teaching services, tutoring services. You can open a very small center and you can provide those services there or you can provide the services out of your home or you can go to other people's homes and provide um, teaching and tutoring services. That's an area where, where you'll always be able to find um, employment, create even create employment for yourself here in Gambia and you can also go online and list your service online people will find you teaching is a skill and everyone doesn't have it it doesn't always come natural so another form of an employment that you could create for yourself is a coaching service because there are a lot of moms that are making the transition that have made the transition from the US to Gambia and they want to teach their children they want to do homeschooling but it's it's a very difficult thing to learn how to do especially in a short period of time you know so if you're a teacher and you're willing to provide coaching services that is another opportunity you can coach these moms and teach them how to homeschool their children at home or you can help them home homeschool their children the last opportunity business opportunity I'd like to talk about that's uh, in pretty much demand here in Gambia would be opening a Western store if you're moving from the West opening a Western store because more and more people are moving here um, to Gambia and they're you know trying to make the transition we're still attached to certain foods that we're used to having back home a lot of those foods that are imported here they go out of stock pretty often like pancake mix peanut butter uh, different brands of peanut butter so they have peanut butter here but the certain brands that we're looking for in particular like they run out and we're willing to drive like all over town looking for them so opening up a store finding out what items are normally running out of stock quickly or in high demand and um and opening a store and offering like just those items or offering those items at a whole at a wholesale um, price where other businesses are able to purchase them from you. Um, that would be a really good business to have here in Gambia. Can't use your credit score here in Gambia. Having a perfect credit score or bad credit, it doesn't matter. It's not going to hurt you or benefit you here in Gambia. 
because Gambia is not ran on a credit score system and they also don't have any system in place that's similar to a credit score system. So just know that whenever you come to Gambia and you want to start a business or you want to purchase, purchase merchandise, anything that you want to do money wise, it has to be done with cash. It's a society, a country that is ran off of cash only. It's not ran off of credit. They don't even have the option, the credit option available. Okay. So I tried to explain that to one of my friends. <laughs> she came here to visit and she wanted to go shopping and use her credit card. And I said, you can't use a credit card here in Gambia. And she's like, well, take me to the biggest um, supermarket that they have here. And I said, okay, I'll take you to the biggest supermarket that they have here, but you still won't be able to use your credit card because the option is not available. So we in fact went there. Of course, I already knew, but we went there and I had to prove to her and she was shocked that you absolutely could not use your credit card. Uh, they don't ha even have the machine to swipe it. You know, if you, if you go into like hotels and stuff like that, of course you can use your debit card, but I'm talking about like shopping shopping buying merchandise and things like that here in gambia um yeah you can't use your credit card you have to use cash uh, you want to consider that the country does have power outages and sometimes we have power outages for an extended period of time so you would have to invest into getting a backup generator for your business if you do have uh food obviously like if you have a restaurant you have food because you could run into the issue of food spoilage if you don't invest into a generator or backup system for the electricity um then if the power goes out and it's out for an extended period of time uh not only will you not be able to serve like hot food to your customers but you could run into problems with sp sp uh <laughs> food spoilage before you start planning the type of business you want to have in gambia it's important for you to understand um, the different issues that you could potentially run into and be prepared for those so that you don't waste like a lot of time and money buying products when that money could have been put in a, in a different area. You may have in, you may have this idea of running a business um, based on how things are run in your country and it's just simply not the reality of how things are being ran here in Gambia. So, or you have certain business ideas that I did not mention in this video, it could very well work. It could very well work for you. Um, the, the main thing that I would focus on is like a business that you can start up with low uh, startup costs, something that you can start up right away. Um, so that you can have an income coming in for yourself and you don't have to rely on your savings that you bring here to Gambia because savings go very, very quickly, especially when you're trying to figure out the society. You don't want to, yeah, you don't want to, you don't want to max out all of your savings while you're trying to figure out, you know, what business is going to work for you and how to have an income. So I hope that you guys have found this video to be useful. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.